Hello, everybody. The Indiana State Sycamores played inspired tonight in a 76-72 victory over Missouri State. Certainly the most significant win in the Josh Schertz era. And what a game from Nick Hiddle. He had 14 points. Cam Henry led the way with 16, and Zach Hobbs finished with 15. Here's how they did it on WTWO night, of all things. Cam is like the engine that makes the offense go. Hits the free throw line fadeaway. And then what a surprise Hiddle was. Look at this. Hits the long three. He's battled back from back injuries. Good to see him play well. Then Xavier Bledson gets in on the fun. Get this. They made 14 three-pointers. Just outstanding from beyond the arc. Later, Kalix Stevens dunk alert. Throw it down, big man. He finished with seven points. They led 21-13. Then it's Henry on back-to-back -back possessions. There's one three. And I counted about 16 seconds later, another one. The Sycamores led 41-29 at the intermission. Later, watch this pass from Bledson. This is like Patrick Mahomes stuff as Larry buries the three off that. We'll hear from him in a moment. And Hiddle seemingly could not miss from three-point land. That made it a 12-point lead. Second half, word is Isaiah Mobley had four NBA scouts in attendance to watch him play. Here's part of the reason why. He led the Bears with 25 points and 12 rebounds. And the good shooting, though, continued in the second half. Henry to Zach Hobbs, who had 15 points. They led 51-39. Here's the winning play on defense, though. Mobley going for the tie. But Kalix Stevens says, no, sir. Henry the rebound. And they secure the win with free throws. Here's Coach Schertz and the guys following the win. The caliber of this team, um, you know, how good they are um, and, and just being in the Valley. I mean, the Bradley win when you're down three starters was a big win, I thought, you know, um, but to be without your leading scorer tonight and play, you know, I think people would say probably arguably the best team in our league um, that's coming off a win over Loyola at Loyola. Um, really, really proud of our guys. But he just told me to stay ready for my opportunity to come up um, and it happened tonight and I'm uh, just so blessed. and. Uh, yeah, my teammates helped me out during practice too. Um, it's really, it's really everybody else um, that's been helping me out and giving me the confidence to just go out there and play my game. So things down the stretch that we needed to clean up, and I felt like we made enough of those winning plays today. We didn't make enough of those at Valpo, but we made enough of those today, more than enough of those today to get the win. Congrats to them. And coach referring to Cooper Neese as the leading scorer. We'll see when he comes back from the neck injury. They improve to 9 and 10 and go to Bradley this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time.